This is a brand new LG OLED or OLED TV that I just bought. It's a 65 inch CX model. I don't typically do these type of videos because I don't really stay up on the latest and greatest gadgets and technology. Um, but this is a TV I've wanted for a really long time. Um, and I know that there's probably lots of other people out there that'll be getting this TV or a similar model this holiday season. Um, and uh, seeing me put it together, who is not a professional TV reviewer or um, installer, uh, will give you the confidence to be able to, uh, to set it up yourself. Uh, a couple years ago, when I went to my friend's house and watched a movie on his LG TV, is kind of when I decided that this would be my next TV. I was just really blown away with the picture quality. I skipped the C9 model, uh, mostly because in addition to movies, I also do some console gaming. And uh, the new CX uh, with the new uh, next gen game consoles coming out has a few features that I'll be able to take advantage of. If I measured correctly, this should perfectly fit um, within our little niche here and on my stand. Um, I'm a little nervous now after seeing how big the box is. Um, so uh, if I measured correctly and if the specs online were accurate, it should fit. This isn't even that new of a TV anymore. The CX has been out for a while, uh, but for me, it was the price that was preventing me from buying it. So I had a price I was willing to pay and I just kept watching the price and it finally dipped below that price, so I purchased it. I've already watched a couple of videos on YouTube, so I have a, a pretty good idea of what we're gonna find inside the box and I am uh, confident I'll be able to assemble it. Um, it shouldn't be too hard, there's only seven screws involved. Um, the tools that you'll need or things you'll need is, I'm gonna grab a scissors so that I can cut these straps off to open it. Um, you will want another adult um, when you're tipping and standing this up. Uh, you definitely want two adults for that. Um, and then a screwdriver for the seven screws. So first we need to cut these straps and take the cardboard lid off. So we're just gonna lift this straight up. So most of the stuff's in the back, it looks like. Um, this is part of the stand, I believe, which we'll assemble next. And then I believe the rest of the stand is in the back corner behind the TV. I'm just gonna lift this up a little bit. And this is where most of the weight is. This thing is actually super heavy. So this is the heavy part of the base. And then this should be the front edge. So the shiny side's up. And then there are three screw holes here, here, and here. I just need to find the screws and then you screw this part onto the front. It took me a few minutes to find the remote and screws and manual for the TV. Um, they're actually in this styrofoam piece that is in the lid. So when we lifted this off, this styrofoam piece was still in there and I had to pull it out and that's where that, that stuff was. Now I'll open up the bag that has the control, remote control, and hopefully the screws. Manual. Audio video cable, remote control with batteries, and here's the bag of screws. And they appear to all be the same size, so that's good. There we go. Childproof.
So once you got them all in a little bit, then you can go back and tighten them all the way down. So this is the base that the TV will sit on. So this is kind of the tricky part of putting this all together and the scary part as well because you need to tip the TV down on the front of its screen so that you can assemble the base to it. And the way you do that is you take the styrofoam piece that was in the top of the box and you put it along the bottom inside. Uh, so the reason you need to get the TV down flat and up off the ground is because the stand sticks out a little bit. So we're going to lay the screen down on top of this uh, so that we can screw the base in from the bottom. Um, for where the screen is in the middle, you actually use this piece for it to sit on. And then, so the weight of the TV will be on top of this box, but it won't collapse because of the styrofoam. And then we can put the base on the bottom. So now we're going to lift it out and set it down on there. Um, we're going to use these for the side of the screen and then grab on the back of the TV with our other hand. So this is the bottom of the TV in the back, and this is where the four screw holes are for the base. So that's what we'll do next. There are little um, notches that these go into in the TV, so you kind of have to do it at an angle. And then the four screws should line up. Can you take it off? So we have four screws left over. They go in each of these four holes. Just like the other ones, I'm going to get all four of them started before I fully tighten them. Then there is a little plate that covers up those screw holes. I believe it just pops in from the top. And there's also a plate here for uh, your cords. And then let's go straight up and under the stand. I have the stand pulled a bit away from the wall right now just so I can show you some of the uh, inputs on the back side. Um, I'm going to just be using the antenna in. Uh, we still have um, an, an antenna. I know um, a lot of people wonder why they still put those on TVs. I appreciate that they do because we haven't had cable in a long time. And I'll be using one of the HDMI inputs uh, for my Xbox. And of course don't forget to plug it in. So my measurements were pretty close, just barely fits. All right, I'm gonna boot up the TV for the first time. Uh, just keep in mind that um, you know, I'm videotaping this, so the quality isn't going to be as good as it. I'll actually see it live. So if you're interested in seeing more like videos of image quality in comparison with other TVs, I 
suggest you go on YouTube and Google it. Not Google it. YouTube it. <laughs> YouTube it. Press the OK button, Leo, on your remote. Language and location settings. Confirm your location and language settings. Language, English, button, country, time zone, select, button. Ada, unchecked, Phoenix, unchecked, Detroit, Chicago, unchecked, time zone, Chicago, button. Use this TV as a store mode, unchecked. Next, button. Audio guidance is currently turned on to assist the visually impaired. All right, it wants me to turn on my Xbox. So I have a Xbox One X powering it up now. I connected that to HDMI 1, I believe. So it's connected. And I'll set up the Wi Fi here quick. Wi Fi is now connected. Terms and conditions. Agree to all. Agree. Yep. I have an antenna. I'll enter this and be right back. I'm going to skip these for now. Looks like it's going to scan for channels. I am hooked up already. Done. I'm going to skip this. Simply push your wires away. So these are the channels it found for just our regular antenna. Um, look at the remote to see how we change channels. So I found all of my normal channels, which is great. They look really good. But I wanted to jump into uh, some of the apps. Just trying to figure out how. If I go home, I want to do... I was hoping I could just bring up YouTube. I want YouTube. So I'm going to skip signing in for now. I just was hoping I could search for some 4K content. Uh, with HDR and see if we can see what this TV can do. That's cool. I there was one. Oh, these all look great. Wow, that looks 
really good. <laughs> but I don't know if this is coming across on the video, but this looks really good. Let's try this one. That's pretty neat. <laughs> I feel like my TV's in an aquarium. So these look really good. I'm really happy with this so far. I'm going to switch over to my Xbox One X and uh, make sure all my settings are correct and throw in a, a 4K movie and see what that looks like. So this popped up when I started my Xbox One X, so I'm going to hit enable on this. Now I'm just jumping into my settings to see what it actually put in there. So TV and display options, it is 4K UHD. Um, and all of this stuff is checked, so that's good. I'm not exactly sure what this is. So it looks like it just kind of goes through the setup for me. So it's saying that I need to adjust it until you can barely make out the checkerboard pattern. I'm going to go right there. And then um, use your controller to adjust the image until all the blocks have the same brightness. say it's about right there. Use your Xbox controller to adjust the image to all the blocks have the same brightness again. Boom. Went too far. I'd say about there. So now it's showing me two images. One is calibrated, one is uncalibrated. They don't look incredibly different to me. I did try videotaping a bit of a movie to share in this video, but it got flagged for copyright uh, from YouTube, so I won't be able to include that here. Um, it did look fantastic. Um, I'll also be trying out uh, my Xbox with some games to see how those look. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this TV, feel free to leave us a comment.